will begin today on the rather sad notes and paying tributes to the former governor of Oyo State, Otumba Adibayo Alao Akala, Christopher Alao Akala, who died this Wednesday morning at the age of 71. Alao Akala, a retired police officer, was the deputy governor of Oyo State from 2003 to 2007 and later governor from 2007 to 2011 on the platform of the People's Democratic Party. It's another sad dot, gentlemen. Yika, um, Otumba Christopher Alao Akala, if you remember, he was deputy to Governor Adewolu Ladoja. At the point in time that Adija, uh, um, Ladoja was embattled, he became the substantive um, governor. Uh, governor. And then um, I, I just remember that smile, and he's a fan of journalist hangouts. Yes. Um, uh, let me confess uh, that uh, my partiality, some sort of, he was it's from Ogumasho, and yeah, I'm yeah, from Ogumasho. Was like a strong. He's a strong man. He was a strong man. In there politics. is no politics you want to play in Obomasho if you don't do. If you don't deal with Akala, you are nowhere. You will remember that the former deputy uh, House of Representatives speaker Mulika Tadela, she was defeated by an unknown quantity from Labour Party when he joined Labour Party and contested as governor hmm. of uh, gov as a governorship candidate on Labour Party. Hmm. He won the whole of Obumasho. But of course the Obumasho votes cannot make him the, the, the governor. Hmm. An unknown person from Labour Party won all the votes in Obomajo area. Because of no, the influence that of to tell you Christopher how Alawakala. important and how much influence he wielded in, in, in the town and the surrounding villages and towns. Um, it's a very great loss. He was a very, very uh, charismatic politician. You may not like some of the things he does or he did, but you cannot take it away from him that when it comes to Obomajo politics, he was a dominant figure. And with his death now, um, maybe another dominant person might be thrown up. In fact, for me, in Obumasho now... He was also a party leader in the whole Progressive Congress. Yes. Right? Uh, no, the because of, exactly. In, in fact, you remember that when the uh, 2019 election was coming... He had to, was it 2019 or 2015? They had to quarry him and so that he can deliver the Obomasho votes in block for the APC. So after the late uh, premier of the Western region, uh, SLA Akintola, he was the biggest politician that has arisen from Obomasho town. It's, it's such a very uh, tough time for. People of your states just lost to Lubado and then, well, some days back, exactly. and then now uh, Tumba Christopher well, and Akala. I, I coming straight with the governor and the people of, uh, of uh, Ibado and then of Bumosho and the entire of your state. Oyo state, you know, and of course of the APC also. They've lost a very strong man. But my take on Akala is that I saw him as a populist. Mm -hmm. He has. He has this thing with the with the masses. You know, he could he could play along. He could, you know, like when you look at uh, a fire he, he was trying to be a populist. It was an act. Mm -hmm. But as far as I'm concerned, um, Akala yeah, was Akala. was a born populist, and he acted that throughout. And then he was so good that even when somehow he upstaged La Georgia and became acting governor. Yes. Mm -hmm. Still, he didn't lose his, his cool. And then when Ajada came back, he still maintained his until their time ended and everybody went their separate, uh, their separate ways. I think it's somebody that we, 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 we should uh, commend, you know. And um, fortunately, he has died. I, I was even surprised that he's just 71 years old. I thought he was much older than that. No. You know, he has this uh, brilliance. But also a mature disposition. Yes. You know. And a journalist delight. Mm. 
We commiserate yeah. with the, yeah. uh, we commiserate with the, with the uh, uh, sports minister mm. too because um, Sunday Diary is also yeah. from uh, the Obumasho. I know it's close to Christopher Alawakala. 